problem. My 2014 Dell laptop was running out of space because YouTube videos took up a lot of space on my hard drive. And last night, it just would not render my videos very well at all. I knew I needed more storage space and I've been researching for that. So I'm wondering if this is going to solve my problem. I just purchased a WD My Passport 4 terabyte external hard drive, portable. And uh, what I hope fits it is supposed to My Passport protective carrying case. Got these at Best Buy. So I'm going to take it home and hope that it improves the performance of my computer once I get all those YouTube videos off of my laptop. I did quite a bit of research before buying this external hard drive. I narrowed it down to four options, which I'm going to show you the printouts that I had for those. I posted on social media and asked my friends who had a lot of technical expertise which ones that they used. and. At the end of my comparison shopping, I ended up finding out that the Western Digital, the WD Passport, the four terabyte, was gonna be the one that I needed. When I went to do some comparison shopping in Best Buy, they actually had what I was looking for on sale for $104.99, so I went ahead and bought it. And I, I've had a WD external passport before, and I had good luck with it. But I'm going to show you in the last part of the video what I recommend and what I don't about the WD Passports. I'm going to go ahead and tell you my final recommendation on the My Passport and the My Passport case. You can watch the rest of the video if you want to see the installation and the problems I had with that. But let me just give you this in case you don't have time to do all that. I do like the fact that it was affordable. The pass, My Passport 4 terabyte is very small. It does fit into the case, but just barely. It's going to be a tight fit. You have to get the cable to fit in just so, so that you can zip the case up. What I don't recommend is installing the WD drivers and the WD to go. That ended up causing a lot of problems on my laptop. My laptop is four years old. I have a new one ordered, but the WD to go used up a lot, a lot, a lot of the resources on my computer and caused it to run really, really slow. If you just use the WD Passport as a regular drive and don't try to use all the bells and whistles that they want you to install on there, I think you'll be fine. When I was doing this, I remembered that my old WD Passport, I had the same issues. I ended up just taking all of the utilities off and using it as a regular flash drive and it works just fine for years and years and years. If you want to stick around and see some of the other problems that I had, you're welcome to do so. The case is um, pretty hard shell. It has little side elastic containers, which is kind of cool. It keeps it from flapping all open. I'm guessing this is a cord holder. There's the details. Really nothing helpful at all. Here's the case on the inside. You can't really open it up anymore. It has a little pouch, which I'm assuming is going to be for the cord. So I'll cut the seal. I guess that means I'm committed. Probably have to pay a restocking fee if I take it back. So we have instructions, which we won't bother to read unless we have to, right? We have support, internet site, I guess that doesn't open up, I guess that's what it is. So the instructions are apparently in... Um, Numerous languages as well. It does provide technical support and a variety of phone numbers. The 
be quite kind of them. And then all the hooey in all the different languages. Which I can read. I'm hoping this is a plug and play. This is what it looks like before I take the plastic off. I just got the black one. You can buy the other colors online. But I really needed it today because right now my computer, I'm having to render a video for the third time. I just do not have enough storage space on there for it to do that without a glitch. not too heavy but it it feels pretty solid shiny black I could have paid something like $15 more and had this in shiny metal but I spent the $15 on frozen yogurt instead so it's pretty tightly up so I'm gonna have to open this with a knife Pretty sure. I can do it one handed. Until I get a new camera, I'm getting good at doing stuff one handed. So it does have the USB. So I'll plug her in and take her for a run for the money. It's a nice size. It's easy to handle. It's not too heavy. It's going to stand up any which way you want it. It feels really solid this way. It has like little rubber feet on the bottom. So it doesn't slide back and forth. That's kind of cool. Really like that. I'm hoping this really solves my problems. This is difficult to read even under my light, but through the camera slide, but there's a PDF file of the user manual on their website. So that's kind of cool. With all of this, there are not absolutely no instructions, so I'm hoping it is just a plug and play and it's going to sort itself up. Okay, the cord does fit in a little pouch. easier with two hands. The passport does fit in there. That's a nice surprise. I didn't think it would. Ooh, a zip. Passport does fit inside. This one's a little hard to zip. Okay, there we go. Doesn't want to zip. I have to work with this. Good grief. I don't know if that's a tight fit or poor manufacturing, but I have to work on that. It fits. Okay, it hardly seems worth the effort, but I guess it does make it zip easier. Just needs to be zipped and unzipped a couple of times, I guess. I'm locking the case. So it does work. Plugging it in that end, it went in easy enough. Plugging the other end in my laptop. See what happens. I think it's doing its thing down here. So there it is.
And those are the files that it has in it. So I'm going to test and see if I can copy all of my YouTube videos. over here. And it's probably going to take a while. Starting at 11.32 p.m. I'm not sure they're going bad. So exciting. So exciting. You want me to sing for you? You may think that you do, but you really do not. Is anything going to happen? Are we still setting up the passport? I didn't do the read me. Maybe I should have started with something smaller. It's a lot of files. It's a lot of files. I'm going to run out of recording time on my phone. Okay, I'm going to cut it off and give it some time. Oh wow, and suddenly it just transferred everything. Looks like everything's there. Well, that's cool and easy. It's 11.36. Looks like they all transferred over. This is another not quite as large, but it has a lot of files and a lot of embedded files, so I'm going to see if I can copy this one. It's my career files. Started at 11.36, 11.37, and some progress. Well, it does have a readme text, which, of course, I didn't bother to do. And I didn't do that either. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. And I didn't do that. And I didn't do any of that. And that's my thing. There's the user, ma user manual. Probably takes you online. Internet shortcut. Yeah, I didn't do any of that. Might have speeded things up a little bit. Oh well. Oh well. Still working. 
looks as if all of my YouTube videos are there. These are ones that need filming. These are some that I'll do 500 series. These are some that are probably ready to do. Well, wait a minute. I don't think it did load them all. Because I have everything. I have a bunch missing. So I'll have to redo that. Because it only did down to 600. Yeah, and my drop box is full. I know that because I moved stuff over for it. Because in my real one, it goes down to 600. But then it has all of these that are already deployed on YouTube. I just started moving a bunch of stuff over. <laughs> it did move one item, or one set of items over things from my Dropbox. The other is just kind of a slow go. Moving it from my laptop to the passport is the slow part. I'm going to bed and I'm going to let it do its thing. Hopefully this will be all done in the morning. The user manual's online. You can choose from the language. And it is 45 pages long. I'm going to download this and keep it on my drive. I renamed it User Manual PDF, so I know what it is. The User Manual is very well organized. You can find what you want to do and then click on it and take you to that part. The part that I'm most interested in is going to be the Discovery because it allows me to register my device. I'm not really interested in backing up files to the cloud. And I'm not really interested in using a password or um, partitioning or anything like that. So I'm going to click to that and it tells me exactly what I need to do for all of these pieces. And that, that's what I'm going to do is register my, my drive now. It actually has three application files, but the directions say to click on the WD Discovery X. That's what I'm going to do. Nothing happened. There we go. It says it doesn't find it. Okay, I'm going to stop filming because this is taking, it's taking a little while, a little bit longer than I thought. Well, here we go. Yes. So obviously 
what they have installed on the passport now it says it failed hmm that's not cool let me try this So their instructions are incorrect and their procedures are incorrect, just as an FYI. So their product manual definitely needs some updating and they need to consolidate these applications. So that's not too cool. We'll see when all these things get repaired if I'm going to like this product or not. I don't like when things don't work. I really, really don't. It still hasn't given me any way to register my, my drive. So what now? What are we doing? Try that one. Do not want to import your data from a cloud storage or social media connected to your... Okay, I do want to do that, but I'm not going to film that part. It gives you these options. So I'm assuming that everything that you upload to either Instagram, Facebook, or your OneDrive or Google Drive or Dropbox is going to automatically go to your drive once they're all connected. So I'm going to choose the one that I use the most where I share my YouTube video documents and footage. Okay, I'm not happy because I've tried this three times. I verified with Dropbox that this app has access to my account and it's still not working. So if anyone has an idea about how to make the WD Passport import data from my cloud storage, please leave it in the comments below because their instructions are not working. Not happy camper. Hallelujah, it's finally uploading my documents from my Dropbox. It took a lot of navigation and finally I was able to register my product using their little app. I had to go to the website and register it first and type in the serial number, which was hard to read. But when I was able to log in using their app, finally the other features started working. So it's not very user friendly. It isn't very accurate. You're going to have to dedicate some time to sit down and do all the upgrades and figuring it out and things like that. But if this works and it automatically takes everything from my Dropbox to the Passport when it's connected, that's going to save me so much time. Thanks for watching. Just to recap, I recommend not downloading any of the WD Passport apps. Don't try to link your cloud storage to the WD Passport. The apps and the information they have are really, really old. I got online and looked all this stuff up and they're just giving you like really old stuff on these passports, which is really not cool. I was still happy about my passport. I'm happy for the price and using it just as a regular external drive, but don't try to use their bells and whistles. As I said before, the WD to go is a nightmare. It's just gonna use a bunch of your computer resources on startup and it's not very effective. If you have other cloud storage that works for you, I recommend using it and don't bother with the WD to go because it's just, it's really ineffective. The Passport is working great as just an external hard drive. Just look at it like a really big USB flash drive, jump drive, and you'll be happy. You don't need all of their drivers and executions and all that to use this simply as um, a storage drive. Thanks for watching my review of the WD My Passport 4TB. 
Until next time, take care of yourself. Let's help each other be technologically savvy. Bye.